Hey, what's up everybody? It's TR with Earth Angel Mushrooms. It's been a little while since I made a video, so I figured I would make one. I'm sitting down tonight, my chair, feeling lazy. Got bags cooking in the uh, autoclave, so I'm just waiting on that to finish up. But uh, it's been a while since I made a video, and I'd like to keep the spirit of my channel as uh, it's geared towards the business side. For those of you guys going to attempt to do this as a business. So I uh, want to give uh, some advice on realistic expectations. So of yourself and of what the market is like. So I would like to think that I know a fair amount of growers in the country. So um, that said, um, you kind of get a picture of how big the local market is for specialty mushrooms. Um, and more so than that, we have statistics um, at our disposal on USDA.gov of how many mushrooms are grown in this country, what type of mushrooms are grown, and how much they sell for. So your realistic expectations. One, supply and demand. We get involved in this because we love mushrooms, we like to grow mushrooms, and we start off saying, well, Oh my gosh, pink oysters are the best thing ever. Golden oysters are so beautiful. But you know what? You're not gonna sell very many pink oysters or golden oysters. What you're gonna do with a lot of pink oysters or golden oysters is throw them right in the trash. And that's the God honest truth. Um, because the demand is not there. So a lot of people are like, well, if we just teach people this and teach people that, and we try to change all this stuff, you're, what I, and I was there, you're attempting to swim upstream, upstream. You will not have the time once the, the ball starts rolling to attempt to change the game. You're not gonna change the game. You don't have enough time and you don't have enough money, including myself, um, to change the game. Our only other option is to let the market dictate. What does the market dictate? Well, we know what the market is because there's statistics on that, um, at least in the United States, on USDA.gov. We know the price, we know the volumes. And I know a lot of growers in the country, and I know what they're selling, and I know what they're selling for, as far as price. So typically, the uh, Urban areas in the United States, it's about 500 pounds, between 500 and 1,000 pounds of specialty mushrooms. So, and a typical price on oysters and shiitakes, um, is about 10 bucks direct sales to the chefs to get uh, that local price. And yeah, that 500 pounds times ten dollars that's five thousand dollars and it seems like a lot but when you get there it's not very much um, because you have an immense amount of overhead and you're still in the danger zone at that at that volume so supply back to supply and demand a lot of people get involved pink oyster this, and golden oyster that, and lion's mane, and yada, yada, yada. You'll see that initially, people are excited about mushrooms that look different, and you buy into that thinking that, that you can grow a bunch of them. When the reality is, you'll grow them and you'll think that the demand is drastically higher than it is, so you'll grow more, and that's when everybody thinks that uh, they're not as cool as they once were when they first saw them, and you end up throwing them away. And then golden oyster mushrooms, pink oyster mushrooms, their shelf life in the cooler is just a few days. So you have to unload them instantly, which is not, which is not a fun predicament to be in. So learn the demand, meet the demand. You want to swim with the current. That means find out what people want and grow what people want. Find out what they're willing to pay and what they want 
and grow what they want and what they're willing to pay for. Then you have knowledge of what you can do. Um, it's going to fluctuate, you know, but you're going to get uh, the hang of the game as you go on what the demand is and what your capability as a salesperson is as well. Um, the more you know about the industry in your area um, and the people you know that are in the circle or buying mushrooms, then you can make phone calls to get rid of excess. But starting off, you don't know enough people to unload 50 extra pounds, at least I didn't, or 100 extra pounds because you grew 100 extra pounds of lion's mane that you thought everybody would love because they look so cool and they taste good to us and they're cool. You need to have realistic expectations and realistic expectations of yourself as well. Do you know how to grow that many? Do you know what the actual costs are? Everybody says when you're starting off, you don't know the real deal costs. You think you know them, and then as you grow as a business person and as a grower, you start learning the real cost of everything you do. And initially you think, well, the substrate and the bag and the electricity, yeah, but there's so many more costs involved. How much does it cost to drive those mushrooms, to deliver them, the gas, the vehicle? Are you taking money from the company to pay yourself? Um, insurance, the bigger you get, the more stuff you have to buy to generate that same pound of mushrooms. Do you have a facility or are you doing this at home? Because you can grow 100 pounds of mushrooms at home, but you're not growing 500 pounds of mushrooms at home. Ultimately, you're going to have to pay rent if you get employees. And that's a whole nother, whole nother thing. And it, that's a whole nother video. There's employees, oh, multiple videos. If you get employees, you have workers comp. Or you, and then you have an immense amount of cost that you're not factoring in when you start off. So go through it and make a business, um, whether you make a business plan or go through it in your head realistically of how much it's going to cost you. Write it down, look at it, and know that it's gonna be more than that number that you wrote down. Regardless how good of a business person you are, especially if you don't have the knowledge yet, there's going to be incurred cost that you did not anticipate. And then once you get more experienced, then those numbers become more real realistic. What can I generate a pound of mushrooms for? So you need to have realistic expectations. So some good uh, places to visit, usda.gov puts out all the statistics, updated pricing, what the average prices are, and know that when you get to over that about 500 pounds a week mark of specialty mushrooms that most urban areas cap out at, that you're going to have to compete at those prices. If your business model is not profitable at the USDA pricing, then you will not be a mushroom grower very long. So you'll stay little bitty and in the danger zone. And ultimately, it's not probably gonna work out. The goal is to be able to make a living and continue to do this. That means you have to know the supply, know the demand, do your research, do realistic numbers, have realistic expectations of yourself, what the demand is, as far as what type of mushroom and the price you're gonna get. We know USDA pricing, and typically you'll know the pricing of what, in general, the chefs are going to pay. So um, I hope I shed some light on having realistic expectations as far as growing mushrooms. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel uh, my website is almost up earthangelmushrooms.com still under construction but we're getting there 
Um, so we'll talk to you later, guys.